Randy Ambrosi was named and installed as the current Canadian Football League commissioner back in 2017. And everybody at the time, including us CFL fans, thought that, hey, this is a great idea. Randy Ambrosi was a former player in the CFL. He'd probably have a lot better of an insight when it comes to dealing with the teams and the players, and he's going to be one of the better commissioners in recent years. Boy, were we all wrong. After having a decent man in Jeffrey Orridge as commissioner, but ultimately a lame duck, Randy Ambrosi has so far been one of the worst CFL commissioners in history, and that is for the whole league. This is a man who's pushed a political agenda. He's championed political correctness in the CFL. He's totally turned the league into a league of bleeding hearts, which I don't understand. He's overseen the loss of the Edmonton Eskimos name. I'm not going to use the new name because I don't recognize it. He's also presided over the league at a time where, even with the pandemic going on, there was no CFL season in 2020, and there's going to be a shortened CFL season in 2021. All of this combined is unacceptable for someone at his level. And add to the fact that almost every other professional sports league had a season in 2020. The NFL had a full regular season, albeit played in empty stadiums up until the end of the season. They had a full season. It was great. I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the Super Bowl. I'm not getting into that. Randy Ambrosi didn't even accept any compromises, didn't even come up with a plan. He just outright shut down the league for the 2020 season. Unlike the NFL, the CFL teams aren't nearly as rich. They have people working two jobs, including a lot of the players. They don't get paid a lot of money. And a lot of the people who work in the organizations, aka the franchises, lost their jobs, stadiums were not open, there were no concession stands, nothing. Merchandise sales were down. It's a bad situation that Randy Ambrosi has made a lot worse. He doesn't know what he's doing. He does not have a vision. I used to complain about Jeffrey Orridge, but as opposed to Randy Ambrosi, who has done nothing but gone backwards, at least Jeffrey Orridge did something and tried to go forwards. I can respect that. And the sad fact of the matter is we haven't had a good CFL commissioner since Mark Cohan. And I really wish Mark Cohan would come back, but he's not going to. God bless him for going off and, and going even uh, into bigger and better things. But the... The leadership, if you can call it that, or management of the league since Mark Cohan has been pathetic at best. And again, I don't mean to dump on Jeffrey Orridge, but he didn't accomplish much of anything, even though he tried. I liked the guy. I thought he had potential, but he didn't stay long enough to achieve anything. He kind of gave up on it. Randy Ambrosi has gone backwards in so many ways. And it's just disappointing to see... A sports league like the CFL that I've followed since I was a kid with its rich history and well over a hundred Grey Cups just start going to waste and not being what it should be because of one man, which is him, the commissioner, Randy Ambrosi. I'm sorry, he sucks. There's no other way to say this. I don't care if anyone else out there likes him. A lot of people don't. I don't. I hate him. I despise him. He's taking the league backwards. <sighs> Not having a season in 2020 is bad enough, but the fact that since he took office as commissioner, he's turned the CFL into a political arena. And everybody knows I am completely against politics being intertwined with sports. Politics have no place in sports. The whole point of watching sports is to forget about the world and its politics for a few hours a day, maybe once a week. And he drags it in there. He keeps pushing this agenda. And then he's a lame duck and cancels the, cancels the season last year, and now we have a shortened season. And don't even get me started on the Edmonton Eskimos losing their name. His tenure has overseen a lot of problems, and there's no solutions. 
I'm sorry, Randy, but you're terrible. You're the worst commissioner we've had. More than anything, you need to either resign of your own free will or some, or the board of directors needs to get off their ass, stop kissing each other's butt all the time, and fire him. Get him out of there. Get someone in who appreciates the history of the game and wants to move it forward. Don't make these ridiculous deals with the Mexican Football League. And that's another thing. The Mexicans have a football league? Are you kidding me? And now he's looking to Japan. Japan plays football? Randy, you're going in the wrong direction. Maybe it's all those head injuries you suffered playing football. I don't know. You're terrible. Get out. You should resign right now. Nobody likes you. You suck. End of story. Have a great day, everybody.